Um, I should probably hit save. Uh, the next part, let's set up um, switching from FK to IK. Then we'll do the controls. Um, here's our two. The first thing I'll do is I'll bring in a control I made earlier. Um, it's just splines. It really doesn't matter. Uh, if you want to use a circle or you want to use one of the other icons you'll be making later. Um, FKIK. I'm going to see it there. Okay. And if I hold down V, point constraint comes on and that'll snap it to a bone. It's getting very confused. Um, center the pivot. V. Oh, it's snapping to the actual mesh. So I'll just template the mesh instead of reference it. And that's it. Yeah, it's on the bone. Okay. I guess we'll offset it a bit. Maybe... Give it a rotation, it's roughly in the direction of the leg. Don't want this thing getting in the way. Um, and I'm hitting the insert key, um, and that allows me to adjust the central pivot. I'm holding down V again, I'm putting it over here. So that's that's the new pivot point for the object. Um, and now we want to zero it out. I guess it doesn't matter too much with this particular control because we won't be moving this at all. In fact, um, to make sure that it's always following the main leg, what I'm going to do is select this bone to, to be the driver and then to make sure it always follows, I'm going to yeah, everything, rotation and translation, it'll take from that bone. They're all blue now. So if I select it and then any movement happens here, it'll always snap back. Um, we'll get rid of that in a minute. I'll, I'll add in a tribute first and then we'll, we'll take care of that in a, in a, in a bit. Okay. Um, we need to add the attribute. We're going to add a number that goes from 1 to 10 and swaps the FK to the IK. The reason we're going 1 to 10 is it suits a formula I'll be putting in later and it uh, it allows you enough frames to key between FK and IK so there's no pop between them. Um, so modify and add attribute and this should add to the channel box. Um, we're going to call the new attribute uh, Blend IK underscore to FK to FK. Okay, and lots of choices in here. Bowling is true or false. String is text. Um, we we done this with Unity before, and a float is a decimal place number. And we're going to say the minimum is zero. The maximum it can go to is 10 and we'll have the default number it starts at to be 0 and uh, we're good to go. If you're doing all the legs you could select them all at once and add all this tribute to all of them at the same time. Um, yeah and we want it keyable. So okay there it pops up IK to FK all the underscores have become spaces now um, and I capitalized the, the 2 the T and 2 um, so when I go in and select that, absolutely nothing happens. We just have a a number at the moment. We have to make it do something now. So I'm going to select this. We want to go to Animate and Set Driven Keys and Set. Now this control will be the driver. It's going to... no, load driver. The FK to IK is going to be what makes the changes. And we want it to make changes to 
the constraints the um, orient constraints I have to think about this sorry I'm slowing down because there's a lot of them one two three four yeah there's four per leg wow okay this will be fun um, and we want to load the driven you can see the constraints they're pretty obvious in, in the outliner and this is the the only and easy way to select them um, load driven and when we select on each one you can see it's saying here where it's influencing the leg at the moment to start off with we've got influence from both we don't want that I should have renamed this we'll do that now FKIK switch and in fact because we're gonna have a load of these this is the uh, left hand side and it's the front leg I guess probably right front leg it's gonna get very confusing for you um, it'll, it, either way this is gonna get very confusing for you okay now with the the first key setup when we click back in here we'll, we'll automatically select the constraint again um, it's these two we want to drive and these two are at the end one means the orient constraint we put on in the first part um, from each of these other two legs is, is at a hundred percent and we're gonna switch one off and I think this will make zero Let's see what do we want switch off the IK so zero will now be equal to FK and make sure the blend FK to IK is set here so when I set the key which we'll do now key it's complaining why are you complaining no match found drive blend FK IK Ah, because I changed the name. That's probably it. Good. So I'll reload the driver. It's these two I want to affect. Yeah, we've set one. We want to get the FK switched on. And let's key that. There, it worked. Yeah, it's because I switched the name. Okay. Now we want to go back into our driver and what was at zero we bring it up to 10 and we're going to tell we're going to swap around these two so basically at 10 we want the FK switched off but we want the IK switched on and now we just set key okay here's the fun bit where I need to do this with all of them um, Go back to zero. I'll do all the zeros first this time instead of just going backwards and forwards. We'll get to the front leg. Don't want both on. We want the IK off. And we'll key that. Same with the next one. We want the IK off. Key that. IK off. Key that. Okay, when the blend is up to 10, we want the opposite, we want U0, I'm hitting the tab key to move down to the next field, and that 1, 0, tab key 1, 0, tab key 1. Key. Oh, didn't select them. 
Did I key all these? I'm doubting myself. I'm not sure if I've done that right. Um, so when you're at zero, then at zero, forward kinematics is on. And at 10, hopefully, IK is switched on. And we can see there it is. Yeah, it's at one. So that's working. Cool. Okay. Now it's just a matter of um, putting controls into the FK and the IK. Um, but I guess it would be nice if we'd done a test and just saw what is happening is working. Okay. Switch the joints back on. You can see that the leg appeared from the the normal mesh there, the, the normal mesh, the uh, the normal rig. Um, and if I go in to the FKI I could blend, this is keyable, and we can switch back and forth between the two now. And either of them will drive the the main bones, the bones that will actually be skinned. Okay, let me undo all that. Okay, let's get you all back on. I think that's probably a good place to stop. And the next one, I'll just put controls on them and show you how you can switch off one set of controls and switch the other one on using the exact same attribute for this. Okay. <laughs>